Okay, this whole idea of this kind of math, like I said, is abstract and it can be a little challenging to wrap our heads around. I think this kind of problem is one of the most challenging ones because this k is in the denominator and we can't have it be in the denominator for the answer. So it's pretty simple to look at this and realize you want to move that m and we can do what we just talked about. We can multiply by the reciprocal of the m and that's going to leave the k 1 times m over m times k is going to turn these into being cancelled, but there's still going to be a 1 over k, because the k can't just be in the denominator without something above it, and that leaves us with x over m. Boy, it sounds right. <laughs> it's not finished yet because the k isn't by itself, it's in the denominator below that 1. So I'm going to multiply it by the reciprocal, and this is where this gets really challenging. Because now I have to do it on both sides, and now the k is on the right side of the equation. So k over 1 is equal to 1 over k. That gives us 1 equals k x over m. That's why I didn't try. I got K equal to X times so hard. That's why I didn't try. What do I, I really want the K by itself, but right now it's caught up in this mess on the other side of the equation. If I multiply by this reciprocal, now I'm going to get it by itself. This is going to cancel, and this is going to cancel, and I'm going to have m over x equals k. Do you think there was an easier way than going through all of that? Yes, that's what I did. Maybe. Maybe. You just multiply m, I mean, yeah, k over m. So. so let's go back to the beginning and see if we can make this easier. m over k is equal to x. <sighs> What if I start multiplying by the reciprocal of the k? Usually when we do these, we leave it alone and we try not to move it. But we can't have it stay in the denominator. It needs to be a numerator because it can be over an invisible one. It can't be under an invisible one. Why don't we start with multiplying with k over 1? Because now it's out of the denominator. Over here it's going to be canceled and we're going to have m is equal to xk. Because k over k would be 1. It's k. What? It's k. K times M over 1 times K. K over K is 1, leaving us with just the M. And then on the right side, I'm also multiplying by K over 1, and I get X over K. And then I want to divide by the X. M over X is equal to K. That's a lot of cancel. It is. I know you guys are going to look at some of the problems I'm going to give you for homework and say, oh my gosh, this is going to be like a two or three step equation. It's just going to. I honestly feel like if you end up with something where you, the thing you have to simplify for is in the denominator, move it first. Move it first. Is this going to be on the classroom? Let's go back to this last one. What did you guys do? If I have p times q equals x and we're trying to solve for q, I divide by p. Divide by p. That's going to leave q is equal to x over p. No. 
what, what if I divide? What, what if I said Q or equals X divided by? So here are the problems you guys are gonna do. I'm only giving you 12. Yay. Oh wow. Because I want you to get enough practice in that we can talk about the mistakes. Because let's just be straight up and honest, there will be mistakes, right? We're going to be on page 110, and you're doing numbers 14 through 25 on a separate piece of paper, and it has to be complete before the beginning of class tomorrow. Well, before I turn this off, I want to go back to where we started doing. Guys, hold up. Nikita, turn around. I'm trying to finish the recording. Go back to page five. Keep this table in mind. I would have this open when doing this homework. And just keep your something here so if you want to flip back and look at today's notes. Because all we're doing is trying to identify which part are we trying to get by itself. And then look, am I seeing addition? Am I seeing multiplication? Do the inverse operations of whatever you see. Okay? So let me, that's on page five. Again, page 110, numbers 14 through 25 on a separate piece of paper ready to go over tomorrow.